Hi guys, today we will talk about how to name cycle, how to carve it. And I bring three examples for you that at first glance they are similar to each other. But if you pay more attention, the first structure is alkane because all of its bonds are single. And the second structure is alkene as we have double bond. And the third structure has a triple bond. And we know when we have a triple bond, the name of our hydrocarbon is alkyne. And I bring two double bonds for you. Okay, we'll name it as our last example. I know you can't. It's your mindset. No, I know you can't. Stay with us to name all kind of cyclohydrocarbon as you see. Let's do it. The first example, we have a cycloalkane and we have to follow the alkane methods. In this step one, we have to find the longest number of carbon chain as our main chain. And we know the cyclo has the most number of carbons, so we'll choose it as our main chain. And the name of this chain is hexane. But when we wanna name cyclo hydrocarbon, we just have to put a cyclo before our main chain name. For example, in here we have six carbon and it is hexane. So the name of our main chain will become cyclohexane. So step one is done. In step two, we have to specify the substituent group. As we know, we have a chloro at the top, then we have a bromo, and then we have a methyl. So step two is done too. In step three, we have to start numbering from the way that is closer to subsidiary group. And it's obvious we have to start from the top of our structure because we have a chloro that sticks to top carbon. So we have to start from this way and we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So step three is done too. And it's time to name our main chain by helping from the nodes. As you know, we have to start naming from the substituent group that is closer to A from the alphabetical order. And we know bromo is closer to A. So we have to write 2 dash bromo, then chloro is close to A, and we have to write 1 dash chloro, and then we have to write methyl after dash, 3 dash methyl. And then we have to write our main chain that we know the name of our main chain is cyclohexane. So the name of first example is done. The second structure will face a cycloalkene and we have to follow the alkene methods. Methods are similar to alkene with a tiny difference that we will talk about the difference now as we did in our last video. The first step we have to find our main carbon chain that it has the most number of carbon and the double one must contain on that chain so in the cyclo carbon we have the most number of carbon and the double bond is in that chain we'll choose it as our main chain and we know the name of this chain will be cyclohexene because the name alkane must be based on alkene so step one is now, next step two, we have to specify our substituent group and it is exactly the right alkane method. We have a chloro, bromo, and methyl. So step two is done too. Next step three, we have to start numbering from the way that it is closer to the double bond. If we start numbering from the carbon that it is the top of the double bond to down, it will become 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But there is one note. We will see the first substituent group in carbon number 4. Let's name from the down to up to see will we see the substituent group in a closer carbon or not. So this way we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. As we see, face the first substituent group in carbon number 3. So this is the right way. Because in this way, 
see the substituent group sooner. So it's time to name our structure by helping from the nodes. We know we have to start naming from the bromo because it is closer to A and it will become 4 bromo 3 dash chloro and 5 dash methyl. And we know the name of our main carbon chain is cyclohexene. So the second structure is name two. The third structure is exactly like the second one. The only difference is between our main chain that in here we have a triple one and we know the name of triple one is based on all kind and the name of our main chain will be changed to cyclohexane. So it's time to name our final structure. Let's do it. see in this structure we have two double bond in our cyclo hydrocarbon and as you remember from the video that we talked about have to name the hydrocarbon that they have more than one double bond or more than one triple bond we we'll name this structure so let's name from the alkene methods this step one we have to find the most number of our bond that the both double bond are in that main chain so we choose our cyclo hydrocarbon as our mentioned because in this way we have the most number of carbon and the both double bond are in this chain and we know from the last video the normal name is hydrocarbon that it has more than one double bond we put di tree between the number of carbon and the kind of carbon for example in here we have six carbon and we know the name of six carbon is hexa and we have two double Bond. So we have to put after it a dye and at the end the kind of R hydrocarbon is alkene and we will write E and E the end of our name and it will become hexadine. So step one is done. Next step two, we have to specify our substituent group and we know the name of substituent group are chloro, bromo, and methyl. In step three, we have to pay attention that have to number this structure. Let's check some way for a number. If you start numbering from the left double bond to down, it will be one, two, three, four, five, and six. And the first carbons that attach to double bond are carbon number one and carbon number three. And the first substituent group has to carbon number four. So it's this mode. Now Another mode we can start numbering from down double one and it will become one, two, three, four, five, six. In this way, again, the first carbons that attach to double one are carbon number one and carbon number three. But the first substituent group attach to carbon number one. So in this way, we will face the substituent group in a sooner way. So this is the right way for numbering. And step 3 is done too. It's time to name our structure by helping from the nodes. As you know, we have to start naming from the substituent group. And the first substituent group that we have to write to it is bromo because it is closer to A in alphabetical order. And bromo sticks to carbon number 6. So we'll write 6 dash bromo. Then we have to write chloro and it sticks to carbon number 5 so we have to write 5 dash chloro and at the end we have to write methyl that it sticks to carbon number 1 and we have to write 1 dash methyl and at the end we have to write our main chain and we know from the note number 1 in alkene we have to write the number of first carbon that sticks to double one and here we have two double one that the first carbons are carbon number one and carbon number three so we have to write one comma three dash hexane all of the structure 
are named. It was a video for naming all kind of hydrocarbon. Good luck.